After we've completed the pinion bearing preload measurement, we want to check our pinion depth measurement. So we're going to use a set of gauging blocks and tubes, like your service manual explains, and we're going to install a new pinion bearing cage with a tool set up on it here that's going to allow us to turn a gauging block against a precision tube that we're going to put where the carrier would normally be here. What that's going to do is create a gap in between the gauging block and the precision tube, and that gap is going to allow us to measure with a feeler blade. And when we compare that against the chart, we're going to get given the shim pack that should belong between the pinion bearing cage and the carrier housing. So I'm just going to start with a shim, and I've pre-done this check to know I'm pretty close. But I'm going to start with a 15 thou feeler blade, and that 15 thou feeler blade is going to fit in between the gauging block and the precision tube, and it goes in and out with a slight drag. That's ideally what I'm looking for. So since that's the right size, that would be a 15 thou feeler blade, we would compare that against the chart right here, and we would see that the 15 thou feeler gauge reading would require a 25 thousandths of an inch shim pack. That shim pack would then be installed between my pinion bearing cage and the carrier housing assembly when we reinstall. This measurement will be checked by our pattern after we've completed the carry in carrier installation with the side bearing preload and then backlash adjustment.